Last time on the Lazy Geckos. The islands, man, we made it. St. Thomas. We have now hit the islands. Got it? Yeah. Is this your phone, sweetie? Let me open it. Oh, it's so amazing. I'm naked, otherwise I open the door. Pie hole pizza? Searching for a home despite the storm that heat. I believe we found the 99 steps. 69, 60. So you guys ready to get some pizza? Pizza. We entered in Christmas Cove for the night and pizza pie is pretty famous here. So we're gonna try out some pizza. Can I hold on to the Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You just want the norm? Oh, whatever you want. Yeah, that and then whatever you want. Can we do um, pepperoni pineapple with jalapeno? One thing I've always missed since starting this whole sailing thing was pizza and coming to a place where I can get pizza in Anchorage is pretty much a dream come true and I'm a little bit teared up about it. Holy crap, I just saw a fish jump like 30 feet. It was like a rainbow arc. That was sweet. We're in a protected area. No anchoring, use the moorings, no dumping, littering, and no killing fishies, Reese. No hunting fish. Reese, we can't get fish. No fishies. Is that a bummer? Yeah. That's all right. Actually, I kind of like coming to areas like that because the wildlife is so much more active. Today I was cleaning the hall and uh, the it was beautiful and there was tuna under the boat, there was eagle rays, and it was pretty cool. So it's always nice when you're in a protected area because you see a lot of life, but not nice when you would like to dive down and kill something. Look, here's a Neha reef. Can we call them? No, they're inside. We got separated for a day and then we went back up. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Sorry. We're stalking you. We're waiting on pizza. We're doing laps. I'm sorry. We ordered our pizza. Uh, we're just talking on film about the boat. I don't mean to interrupt. I don't know what you guys do. <laughs> what, is the, what is your order? Which one? Pepperoni, pineapple, and jalapeno. Yeah. Nice. So, like, I looked at the menu, but you like what? pepperoni. Hey, if you haven't tried it, don't knock it. Yeah, and it also, okay. put ranch on it, or dip it in ranch is awesome. Do they have ranch there? I don't know. I have ranch, if you need ranch. Oh, so you could, you got your ranch. We have come. ranch for yeah. today. How you feel? I'm better, better. Have you had a drink? No, I'm not drinking yet. Yeah, we're drinking tonight. <laughs> she'll, she'll come here, she'll be all right. It's funny, I was like, no cooking. What do you think, Mom? Is this a, uh, a doggable beach? Kind of wavy, huh? And there's rocks. Yeah, there's rocks. You know, we're always looking for a spot to take the dog out. This does not appear to be one. And the other beach has a no trespassing sign on it. We do our best to respect the owner's wishes and the rules and regulations, you know. It's not their fault we have a dog. We have a dog and she's fine because she can go potty, with, you know, on the boat too, because we have the little pool. But, you know, we just wanna, we just like to check the area out and see if we can find something like that. Yeah. Oh, like take picture cool. How much? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. What is that? Pizza. All right, done. That was nice. seriously like ten minutes. Sometime I feel about. like. That nice. Was awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you place no, we're okay. Thank you. Sweet. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Bye. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Pizza. Yay. You excited? That's a first. Yeah, that's a first for I, sure. I haven't seen that over the last um, four need, years. Uh, I need to have yeah. a pizza pie and high school. Yes. 
Thank you, sir, for the delivery. You're so kind. I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Save me a slice, will you? If you've got one here and one there, the best thing to do is run over the one that doesn't have the fish and then just crank okay. it in. So it's not fishing any longer because what happens is if you get a fish on that side and he tries to swim across here, he oh. tangles up on the line and then you've got a drama. Okay. It's only for tangling. Okay, because I was thinking, well, why would you do that? Because you have to catch a fish. But, yeah, tangles. Okay. All for tangles. And they do at the back of the boat. Yeah. They're always trying to drop and change. Well, it's kind of cool because that's the first time that we've been both, we've been trolling both lines. So that was the first time we ran through how to operate. If, yeah. if something like that yeah. happened and I just grabbed a gap. Oh, it was easy. Did the, did the ratchet go off? It did. So you had the, the loud noise and the like, all hands on there. No, but I, I'm hard of hearing. <laughs> you would have never known. Yeah. Used to I worked on an aircraft for 22 years, so I can't hear anything. Which I get in trouble for often. Does that so mean I hear everything because I'm a mom? Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like, can you hear his crying? No, honey. Yes, I can. <laughs> Spearfishing. Spearfishing has become a favorite of ours. It's so great that we have friends to go with as well. This time I'm staying on the boat with Reese. Jeremiah's all done up and ready to catch some big ones. Good legs, guys. Woo! Unfortunately, they hardly saw any life at all, but it's still nice to get in the water. I would expect to see more. I'm gonna let you drive the dinghy, babe. <laughs> Row the dinghy. Will it run? You don't run, yeah. Just gotta get it into gear, that's all. Which, uh... I think he was. Oh, it's the gear slacker. Yeah, it's the gear slacker. It is bad, doctor. <sighs> is it bad? Yeah. Nah. No. Well, is it just a cable or is it actual rod? What do you mean? It's broken. Is it a cable? Uh, that was broken. Is it a cable or is it like a, an actual rod? It's a rod, but it's not broken. The bit that's broken is is just the metal back of this. Look at oh. that. Oh, that yeah. has sheared off the back of that. Uh, so it's all right. It's gonna be hard to stop the dinghy. We're just gonna turn it off when we arrive near the boat. What's the plan, Captain? <laughs> oh, not sure yet. So a lens snapped off our gear selector somehow. We might need to do a mayday. No mayday. <laughs> Kill came over and he says, I've got my outboard running, I've got my outboard running. I was like, what's going on? He goes, it's just the spark plugs. Can you believe it? I'm like, you know what he said? Can you? Sh I told like, him. You didn't check your spark plugs? Dude, I told him the first, every time I talked to him, I said, do the spark plugs. Do the spark plugs. Show us what you did, David. All we did was take out, this is the bit that the lens snapped. When she got angry at the dinghy, she just basically just got super angry and smashed it. She sheared it off completely. I'm not sure how. It's a little bit of corrosion, but. No corrosion there, that's just a lens. <laughs> And basically now all we do is we do it by hand and we should be able to just push it in and out of gear. So if you want to pull the anchor up, we'll give it a crack. Oh. Don't, don't miss the shot. That's awesome. That forward or back? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to get that good. Nice oh, oh, yeah, We will in six months time. Nah, you yeah. Crisis averted. Good job. Crisis averted. No problem. Never in doubt. First, I thought we'd like, we'd spun a prop bush or something and I'm like, well, you know, that's why it's not. And then as soon as I felt sloppy Joe over here, now I'm really surprised we did not see anything. I've got yeah. over hundred ledges. Oh my God, my peach fixed. Because I think <laughs> I don't know that's fixed or not. But... And after I went in the water and I wear the snow mask and I was like, I'm scared it's gonna snap the plastic on the back. I'm like, maybe I should not go. <laughs> That's all right. Coming into an anchorage, we woke up to weigh anchor actually pulled off a mooring ball today. 
at around 7.30 a.m. and we decided to take a mile long trip around the corner. We're probably gonna anchor, grab a ball, see what's in here, but on the way in, I sit up on the bow if the charts call for reefs and I look for reefs. So I have my sunglasses on, my headphones on where I talk to Jeremiah and I have my coffee up here. So really nice and then I just kind of look down at the water and guide him through. It's a really narrow channel with reefs on both sides of which they go up to at some point a foot right under the water line. So a little scary but you know we do our best to work through it. We're hoping to anchor here just for a couple hours and go find our way to the old sugar mill factory which leads to waterfalls and ancient petroglyphs. A little excited, hoping for a good outcome. We're following in Yeho in here, actually. Very beautiful along St. John, right next to St. Thomas. It kind of reminds you of the Mediterranean. Not that I've ever been there, but Jeremiah has, and I've seen lots of pictures, so it's really beautiful. So we set the hook and landed on the beach. This is the south coast of St. John, and it's lovely. Hello, Reese. Oh, you got a pimple. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, it's only a crab. <laughs> I know, I was like... You can get them as pets. Oh. They're not bad. <laughs> Try to pet him and see if he comes out. If you hang him up, up like this, they'll come out. Oh, no. <laughs> First thing we did was check out this old sugar mill. Got rum? Then we hit the Reef Bay Trail. It was only 0.7 miles to the petroglyphs. The hike up was beautiful and so full of life. Just breathtaking. At first the path was simple, then it got a bit more challenging. You got it. Still good? Oh yeah. He knows I'll pass you. <laughs> oh yeah, now yeah, we're swimming up a hill. Yeah, buddy. It's getting hard. Extreme yeah. condition. So, so, follow Elsa. Oh, wow. Wow, I'd love to see that going. Yeah, I know. Well, it's the dry season. That's okay, though. What do you think, Ellen? It's absolutely beautiful. We just miss a little bit of water and it's yeah. lovely. <laughs> oh, there's Abel way back there. Oh, got it. Whoa! That was awesome. <laughs> Crazy cliffs with our four year old. It's a good workout, honey. Yeah, man, it's great. Good job. Who says you can't do this with kids, right? Makes it all that much more fun and much more of a workout. Is that fun? You're. <laughs> what? Keep going. I'm... What? Show this. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> You're covered in sweat. That was a sweet little uh, walk in the woods. Oh, Reese just tripped. Cool little waterfall, we wish it had been uh, going, but that's all right. It's really cool, nice uh, climb up, and really a beautiful walk through the woods. But now we will be headed to the boat, and then we will weigh anchor and head to another anchorage, which is cool. Reese, do you see the deer? That's a doe. Such a lovely morning, and it's not even noon yet. Time to dinghy back to the boat and sail to the next spot. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. Let's go get the permission. Are you in pants? Oh my god, yes. Where is he? He's up on the trampoline. And I'm hard over. Yeah. 
I radioed the girls to see if they'd like to have a little bit of girl time. Get me off the boat! One for the Marine Corps, come on. This is the freezer. Long way to get a fishing license. And it just came in and drenched my entire face. Cheers. Cheers. Fireball. Cheers. Nikki? Nicole. Oh. Your men are getting a workout back there. You're doing good though. I didn't know it would be like. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you find it easier along the coast? <laughs> They're heading out on the ark today. There's like a slide and a fun. Hey, by this little squall. Uh, well, we're on the phone. Okay. I'm a little worried. Do you exactly. even know why? Fueled by Patreon. See how you can be a part of our journey at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos. Want to get behind the scenes? Follow us on Instagram. There's tons more fun to see on our Vimeo channel. You can find the link in the description below. We've been working all hurricane season for this. Are you ready to take this adventure to another level? We are. Oh. How is it? It's good. It tastes good when you're working for it. We've added a huge feature for you to enjoy. Our private server is live, baby. Visit us at www.lazygeckos.net to access episodes, exclusive content, bonus footage, live streams, photo shoots, and more. We are also in the process of building free apps for your tablet and phone. You can also qualify for free access by becoming a patron. See details at patreon.com forward slash lazygeckos.